This game is making huge strides in the Quad Cities. Relatively new a few years ago, now it's really catching on. KWQC's Fran Riley reports the sport is causing quite a racket. Six courts, 24 players. Once you start this game, it's addictive. What's the spin? It's Pickleball Palooza, and Larry Miller's t-shirt says it all. And the only reason I only play six days a week is because they don't play on Sunday very much. If you want it to, this thing can take over your life. Uh, and, and it pretty much has mine, which is fine. I, that's not a complaint. No complaints at all. Barb Shinbori says the number of people playing in the Quad Cities has more than doubled in the last two years, going from about 40 to almost 100. That's why we now have six courts when we used to have just the three over there. A paddle, wiffle ball, and that pop-pop sound. Anything with a racket I love to play. John Greenlee caught the craze two years ago. Get you moving. Get you out of the house. That's the main thing. Better take John's advice and get moving, Riley. See? See? A cross between <laughs> tennis and ping pong. There's, there's short shots, there's lob shots, there's uh, punch shots, there's play deep, play shallow. So get your graphite blaster and t-shirt Pickleball is here to stay. You can't get enough pickleball. Huh? I, I can't. My wife says it's a monster, and I, and I, I plead guilty. <laughs> I plead guilty. I don't know. You look pretty good. I mean, I don't know. You're going to go on the pro pickleball circuit or something. I was just going to say, Fran was throwing down. Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I hit the net a few times. But, you know, I, I wanted to do this story again because we did it about two years ago, and I just wanted to see how much more popular this has become. And, as I mentioned, they've doubled the amount of people that are playing. There was a gentleman that was in the area yesterday from Minnesota visiting some people, right. and he plays up in Minnesota. Oh, wanted wow. to heard about uh, you know that they were playing hey, pickleball yeah. uh, uh, right over at uh, beyond the baseline, and this is huge in Florida. I mean, really? it, it, down there in the, the legends and places where the snowbirds go yeah. in the winter time, you're waiting. Just like you would for a tea time and golf, right, you're for a pickleball court. For a pickleball court, that's exactly right. Well, it yeah. was either the Today Show or Nightly News. One of the two just did a piece on the popularity of pickleball mm -hmm. just a week or two ago. So it really is taking off everywhere, especially here. Yeah, this started uh, back in the '60s, I believe, out in the Pacific Northwest. A former politician uh, kind of invented the game and. Pickles was the name of his dog. Okay. Oh, okay. So this, this, this game is named after an animal. Yeah, it has nothing to do with pickles that you put on sandwiches or that you eat. No, it's just random not at all. crazy name. Although I got eaten alive a couple of times out on the court. Yesterday. And it looks like it's quite a workout, too. Yeah, it really is. It really is a workout, and uh, it keeps you moving, and you can do spin shots and lobs. It's a lot like, uh, Teresa, um, tennis. Mm -hmm. And uh, and badminton, it's kind, kind of combined because you have the lighter mm -hmm. ball and everything exactly. like badminton. So yeah, so I went back and we found out that it's rolling right along. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. pickleball. Who knew? <laughs> All right, friend. Thanks. If you want to watch today's story or the most recent of Fran's features, just visit our website. Click the Fran Riley Features icon on the home page, and Fran will take your story ideas in that very same location.